Hey, good afternoon, guys. Uh, got a unit in this afternoon that uh, driver states that he's driving normally, and then all of a sudden he loses throttle response. Basically, he punches it, and nothing happens. Engine just idles. Second, he said he engine all of a sudden just kind of dies on him. It doesn't want to turn over or nothing. He waits a couple of minutes, and all of a sudden, a hey, engine starts right up. He gets throttle response, and he can go ahead and start rolling again. A good two maybe 20 30 seconds it'll do it again and die off so brought it in dude scanned it and uh, I'll go ahead and put up a screenshot of what we got on the scanner basically the injector driver module is not communicating with them there's a bad connection somewhere so uh, came out here first thing we did was check out the ECM and uh, found one of the connectors is kind of messed up a bit so did a wiggle test and voila the buzz died on us didn't want to crank over kind of pushed the connector back into place and uh, unit functioned properly so we actually looked out and found the problem on the first hit so I'm gonna have to remove uh, I disconnect the connector and I'm gonna have to redo that those pins on that connector so Uh, this here is a connector in question as you can see uh, the little locking tab that goes in here broke off the connectors are uh, the harness is breaking apart so basically this side of the connector is not making good contact while this side is and one of the locking tabs is broken off of this one this one still has it so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna reuse this case I'm gonna reuse these pins with the exception of two that are broken and I'm gonna replace this little locking tab this little black little plastic in the back of it that actually helps it you know hold it in place so I'm gonna go ahead and do all that and uh, hopefully that takes care of the little issue all right guys guys this is the connector we're going to be working on kind of pulled I thought I was recording so I pulled a broken little latch off and put the new one on basically this is the one that was broken broken little latch see it's got this one this one's not in place and this is the one we already replaced and we put the new little insulator on there now we got to get the case. Got to fish the wires through this, lock them into place, lock them into place with this. that'll take care of this electrical connector so this is very tedious and I don't want to record this in two time because it'll take forever so I'm gonna go ahead and do this on a time-lapse and uh, but basically all we got to do is get all these wires into its corresponding little hole in this connector lock them into place using that little white little sliding plate in there get this in place and uh, we should be all right. So let me go ahead and do this in time frame. Guys, instead of trying to repair that harness on the bus, I mean, it's very, very tight. Space is very, very tight. It is a main harness. 
Uh, it'll take us forever to remove that harness and bring it out. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, assemble a pigtail. And then I'm going to go ahead and butt connect that pigtail onto the unit for now. And we're just going to go ahead and order that main harness and replace it at a later date. But for now, I'm going to build me a little pigtail, put butt connections on it, connect it over on the main harness. And uh, for now, that's going to be a fix for now until we do get that new harness. In Alright guys, so let me go ahead and build up this little uh, butt connector. Well guys, uh, we already built up the butt connector. We got the, all the connections on the same location as the other. Even though the colors are not going to match, to the original harness but we are going to do one by one splice according to the connector and the location we're going to splice this number one wire connected to the number one wire on the old connector and then the two and then the four so on and so forth until we get all these connected back onto the harness it's not going to look the nice as it but it is going to work all right so let me go ahead and get this back on the unit and see if uh we can get this done pretty quick. Alright, just give me a sec. Well guys, I know that was not the proper fix, but uh, it is going to be a fix for now. Uh, we did order the main harness, so as soon as it comes in, it's going to take a good 20-30 days before it comes in. That little patch right there is, uh, it should hold up for that long, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and call this one done for now. Uh, it is going to be a patch, and uh, we're going to go ahead and allow the driver to continue using this unit. Let's hope for the best, hope it doesn't die or nothing. And uh, as soon as the new harness comes in, I will go ahead and repost an another video as to replacing the harness itself. So uh, on this one, guys, uh, we are going to go ahead and call it quits and call this one done. And uh, appreciate you guys watching. And uh, like, like and subscribe.